what is if loop basically if loop is a conditional statement that if the condition is true it performs one function or else it performs another function so this is the simplest form to understand if loop now let us understand the syntax of if loop first you need to write if and then your logical condition then you will write the statement or the function which you want to implement if the condition is true and then finally end so this is how you write simple if statement now let me show you the flow chart of if statement here first we initialize then we go for the condition whether it is true or false if the condition is true it performs a statement or function and then it will end the program if the condition is not true or condition is false it will directly end the program it is the simplest form of if loop here you can add one more conditional here you can add another statement or another function if the condition is false let us check that syntax now here we will see if the logical condition is true it performs this statement or function but if it is not true then it performs some another statement or task and for that we need to write else so else and then statement or function and then you need to end the program here one tricky thing that you need to remember is in else condition you should not give any logical condition you need to give only one logical condition in if statement if the logic is true this will happen else in all other condition this will happen so remember that many times many students make this mistake that you write one logical condition in if and you write another logical condition in else this is not the way if this is true this will happen else in all other condition this will happen for example if you need to give multiple logics right multiple logical statement in your program then you need to go for nested if loop or we can call it as if else if loop let's understand that thing you need to write if your logical condition then followed by the statement and then you need to write else if and here you need to provide the logical condition so this is first logical condition if this condition is not true then it will check this condition then if it is true then it will go for this statement and if this condition is not true then it will go for else and then finally the program will end but remember whenever you are writing else you should not provide any logical condition in that line let me show you the flow chart for this if loop here one more thing i would like to tell you here we have used only one else if condition but if you wish you can use five conditions 10 conditions n numbers of else if conditions you can use in sequence now let us check the flow chart for that n conditions of else if loop this is the flow chart we initialize then it will check condition one if the condition is true then it will run statement one or function one and then it will end but if the condition one is not true then it will go for condition number two the same thing happens for condition number two if it is true followed by this statement it will end and if it is not true it will jump to the next condition so you can go up to n condition and in nth condition if it is true it will go for this statement or function and then it will end and if it is not true it can directly end or at that place too you can give any function or statement right so this is the flow chart of multiple if loop or nested if loop or you can call it as if else if loop now we'll go for a simple program and then we'll go for more complex program in this video so stay tuned and stay connected so now we are going to write the program but for this program i don't like this layout so i'm going to change layout to big editor so now here our program will be displayed and the command window if you want to save your preferred layout it is very simple for example this is my preferred layout right 
then uh, you have to set this layout then go to layout and then save layout when you click on save layout it will ask you to enter the name give whatever name you want to give and then press ok then you can see those names in this layout and you can choose in between so now we are going to write a program where we'll identify whether you are adult or not so first i'll write complete program and then i'll explain it to you line by line So our program is ready in line number one what we are doing in line number one I am asking for the input from the user enter the current year then in line number two I am asking enter your birth year so here user need to enter the year of their birth and in D I am finding calculating the difference between these two years. And then if the D, the difference is greater than 18, if the condition is true, it will print as you are adult, else it will not show anything. So let us try this thing, we'll run, so it is asking for current year, so it's 2022, right, it's year of your birth, for example, uh, you are born in 2001. So here you can see that it shows you are adult. Now let us run it again. 2022. Your year of birth is suppose 2015. The difference is 7. It does not show anything. So the program directly ends. But there is no else statement. As you can see on the display. If the condition is true it performs one task but if the condition is not true it directly ends so you can see it is directly ending now what we'll do we'll provide else condition what if this condition is not true we want to display something else so now we'll display something else so if the condition is true you are adult but if the condition is not true, it will display you are not adult. So let's run this thing. 2022, it's the current year. Year of birth is 2015. And it shows you are not adult. Now on the display, you can see the categorization of all the age groups. right? So for example, if you want to categorize, if you want to pick from the data that which age group you belong to then how you will do it it is very easy using if loop so now we are going to implement this logic that we want to identify that you belong to which age group right so let us do it so now we are going to modify this program as per our new need so in that the condition number one is for age ranges from 0 to 1 year it is categorized as newborn or infant so for that we will write if d is greater than 0 but here it should be greater than 0 but less than 1 so you need to provide two conditions over here so how you provide two conditions if you write d greater than 0 comma d d less than 1 this way it's not going to work for that you need to provide one more thing to provide two conditions you need to write and and in between d is greater than zero and and d is less than one and in that condition you are newborn so you are newborn or infant else if now we are giving second condition the second condition is the age range is from 1 to 5 so d is greater than 1 and t is less than 5 here if you want to consider exit 5 with this age group then you have to write less than and equal to 5 and that age group is known as toddler so this is our second condition likewise we will write all other conditions so let us quickly go through that thing
so here our program is ready so now I'm going to clear the command window so command window is clear now and now we are going to implement this thing so we'll run the command so it's asking for current here so it's 2022 let's suppose say anybody who is born in 2019 right so we are entering it is 2019 and it says the difference is 3 and it is toddler so there is additional e over here so we should remove it and now we'll run it again but it gives us the perfect answer so let us do it again okay so now let's run the program again uh, current year is 2022 and now let's suppose somebody who is born in 1991 right so according to the calculation that person is adult now and we should get the exact answer and yes our program says you are adult so this is how you can use this if else if loop conditions if else if statement conditions to check to run your programs now let us understand this program line by line the first line asks for input user defined input the second line is also asking for user defined input in first line we are asking for current year in second line we are asking for the year of you born the third line calculates the difference between you born and the current year and then from fourth line our conditional statements begins it checks if d is 0 but less than 1 in our last program the difference is 31 so 31 is definitely greater than 0 but it is not less than 1 so this condition is not true so it will jump to line number 6 it will again check if d is greater than 1 yes it is true but it should be less than or equal to 5 no it is not true so it will directly jump to line number 8 again it will check it is greater than 5 but not less than 13 so it will jump to line number 10 it is definitely greater than 13 but not less than 18 so it will jump again to line number 12 and it says else if the previous all conditions are not true then display this and it is displaying that you are adult right so this is how you can use this if conditional statement to run to perform your various logics let me ask you a quick question in else statement whether you are required to give any logical statement or not you need to think on it and write the answer in comments below if you want to learn more about matlab then you can check out our full matlab playlist the link is in description box below if you have any query you can ask me in comment section or to download different multiple files and different simulation of MATLAB you can join our telegram group the link of that telegram group is in description box below. In that group we discuss different problems on MATLAB and try to solve all the issues. So until we meet again till the time bye bye.